he will bridge the gap so that when we pray with persistency, when we pray in the spirit, that we will receive what God needs, what we need from God for our lives. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 5, verse 14, we know if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And we want God's will for our lives because he knows what's best for us. Anything that is not God's will for our lives, we don't want it. And that's why it's important to have the proper motivation, praying in the spirit and allowing the Holy Spirit to reveal God's will for our lives. If we come to realize that our requests and the things that we are praying for is not in accordance with God's will, then we should stop praying for them. But if they are in accordance with God's will, then we are to keep knocking, we are to keep asking, we are to keep seeking, and we are to keep praying until God answers. In addition to asking, we are encouraged to be seeking. And when I think of seeking the Lord in prayer, I think of searching his word for the answers. I think of not only searching his word, but waiting upon him to respond to me as I seek him. The Bible encourages us in Deuteronomy chapter 4 to seek the Lord, that we may find him and search for him with all our heart, all our hearts. That's an intense form of seeking God with all our heart. When you really want an answer from God, when you really begin to seek the Lord, you will wait from he, wait to hear from him. Right. Isaiah 55 says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Amen. Psalms chapter 63 verse 1 says, God, you are my God. Early will I seek thee. And early pretty much means early. Have you ever been in a place where you are so desperate to hear from God that you will set the alarm, you will get up out of your bed, and you will wake up early in the morning, get on your knees and say, God, I am here. I am waiting, God, for an answer from you. God, I, I'm wrestling with this thing, and I can't hear you, God. I, I, I need to know what you need me to do, God. I've, I've been seeking you, God. I've been, I've been searching your scriptures, God, but I need an answer. Yes. Some of us have to get out of our place of complacency. Yes. We got to get out of our comfort zone. A lot of us don't like to wake up in the morning. I know I don't. But God may be pushing us to do something different, to get something that we need from him. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. And he who comes to him must believe that he is a rewarder to them who diligently seeks him. Do I diligently seek the Lord? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. And I'm coming to a close. <laughs> Continue to be faithful in seeking the Lord and knocking on the door. Just as the man in the parable, he was relentless, and he wouldn't stop knocking until he got what he wanted. He kept knocking over and over and over and over again. And at times, that door will remain shut. But we have to keep asking. We have to keep seeking. We have to keep knocking. It might be the most inopportune time. Your situation might be such an inconvenience to someone else. You might be in your midnight moment in your life, and it just doesn't feel right. But you have to keep knocking. You see, faith does not quit. Faith does not give up. Faith does not throw in the towel. When you get to your point of your life when you want something bad enough, that you have to seek the Lord early in the morning, that you have to keep knocking early in the morning, that you have to keep asking early in the morning, God will open up the windows of heaven and he will pour you out a blessing that you have no room to receive. I want to be like Jacob. I want to wrestle with the Lord. I don't want to let go until he bless me for what he has for me. You've got to keep knocking. You've got to keep praying. You've 
Desire prayer. You can come at the altar this time. 